Oh, no. Every. What the? <laughs> what the? <laughs> no. Are you Day 43, and I'm starting the day off with a gig. Let's go to the gig, yeah. So yes, hello, it is Saturday. I'm having a bit of a late start to the day because I've got this gig first. I didn't want to work beforehand and then have to come to this gig all like hot and sweaty. Even though I kind of am because it is just hot and sweaty today. Anyway, gig first, which is hopefully going to go really well. Uh, it's pretty chill, it's just for someone's like 70th birthday, like 25 people. And then, work Darling Harbour and George Street. Just work, 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 all Saturday. Oh, just a little bit overexposed. And that is the gig complete! Well, that gig was a wonderful time. They actually requested when booking the gig to see my Bill and Lemon like finale show. So I put on like a whole half hour show at the end there for them. Uh, with like all my street show stuff and some other stuff added at the start. And then before that I was just doing some like mingling magic with like the 20 people that were there. It was really chill and uh, they really enjoyed me. Handed out a bunch of business cards. So yeah. I'm super happy and I actually wasn't feeling that nervous about the whole ordeal. Hopefully tide me over while I work late into the night. This is incredibly dangerous wearing a white shirt. Well, I managed to eat lunch without getting it on my white shirt which was great. Now I'm at Darling Harbour. I'm, I'm trying not to make these vlogs too repetitive. But when I'm out street performing like on a Saturday, uh, it's a busy day and I can't really go home and film anything else. So I'm just going to have to bring you along. I hope that's alright. Let me know, I guess. Anyway, Darling Harbour, there is something interesting just happening over here. Uh, I mean, the break dancers are past that, but I think it's like a Limpton iced tea thing. There's like ping pong tables and then just like seats and they're like handing out bottles like these people over here. They're handing out bottles of Limpton iced tea. I don't know what it's for, I think it's just a promotional thing. And then there's this thing behind me as well. Oh no! So I think I've just spotted, so behind me over here, I don't know if you can see that, I think that is a street performer from New Zealand, from Wellington where I lived. Um, his name is Patrick, just me pointing a camera at him from a distance. His name is Patrick. And uh, I think I've seen bits of his show, but I never actually watched him work or worked with him. Because I think, from my understanding, he sh stopped street performing when I started in New Zealand. So now, I'm going to go and have the good old uh, awkward encounter of I know you, but you don't know me. Hello. Uh, you're a magician. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, alright. I didn't know if you knew me or anything of me. Um, I, I, I walked past you the other day and I went... Ah. Fuck, I know that guy. I've, I've either got him on Facebook or someone's told me about him or something. Kozo probably. Kozo, yeah. Yeah, because I, I worked with Kozo a bunch in Wellington. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, this is Patrick. He uh, did actually know roughly who I was. Um, so, but he apparently saw me like yesterday or something working and didn't want to come and say hi because he didn't actually know who I was. He just recognized me. So, same awkward, uh, you know, meeting. <laughs> he does a big unicycle show. I don't think I've seen the whole thing. <laughs> under the right knee, under the left knee, under the weenie. Yes! Uh, there's cops here and I was wondering what was happening with this thing. Apparently it is a protest and there's going to be thousands of people here, supposedly. Um, and she just said, yeah, we've got this whole space, you can't work here. Say, what the hell is going on right now? Jason just arrived and uh, apparently he just walked past the entire enormous. protest. It's actually enormous. It yeah. is? Okay, yeah, it's going to be here. This is the landing point for it, so time to move.
la, 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 la. Yeah, I was skeptical about how big this protest would be. I mean, like, all of their things are falling over in the wind, but apparently it's huge. Jason's seen it, it's on its way here, and this is the landing point. So, no bueno for working Darling Harbour tonight. Apparently these food trucks over here are going to be here every single day of the week, Monday to Sunday, like open till, open from 7am 7 7 till 10pm, which seems like weird hours, but if they're open here, that means they're trying to draw people here because a harbour side, which is behind it, all the like big mall and eateries and everything is closed for demolition or whatever. So if they're putting those things here, and as well as like this limited iced tea thing, they're hopefully trying to draw people to Darling Harbour, which means Darling Harbour will hopefully get better. We can do some shows, baby! What's happened? They're shifting. They're gonna do the protest down there. Oh, what the heck? Which means, yeah. It's good news for, I mean, oh, apparently it's horrible we're news what's going here. on, but it's good news for us, because we get to now do street shows. I'm excited. Solid. You know, when Jason uh, looks around and he's like, you know, it is actually quite windy, uh, but I'm gonna try anyway, it kind of, you know, puts me off a little bit, because obviously Jason's been doing this. Jason's been doing this a lot longer and if he's like slightly skeptical about the weather then you know that doesn't exactly bode well for me. Right. Look at these clouds. One more thing, the situation like this. Fun, even if you're not, check it out. If I do to get a few of you here watching me and now I will share with you the old- Oh it's so windy oh, it <laughs> blew Jason's <laughs> table over. Name? He was standing on his box doing a balloon swallow. Hey, swallowing a balloon, mum sprout. <laughs> and the crowd goes crazy! Come on! Oh, it is so windy. I am just go calling it quits. Uh, Patrick's doing like a big fire show over here. So I am heading to George Street. Um, just gonna try and nab my spot, hopefully, that I was at last night. What we're gonna do though is heat the thumb up a little bit. I know it sounds strange, but if you just grab that signature, you can actually pull it straight off that four of spades and it morphs onto Size six and a half. Just like so. <laughs> 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 Emily. She's Emily with an A. Oh, all right. Yeah. Emily, Emily. Jordy. Johnny. All right. Ooh. Emily, can you do me a favor? Take any cards you'd like. I'm so excited. <laughs> Show it to everybody. Don't forget it. Are you happy? Yeah. And Grandma's Emily. What was it? Oh. I'll look at it as well. King of Clubs. Don't worry, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference, Johnny, it's all right. Look, a few cuts like this, quick shuffle. I'll keep it fair. They look pretty good. Trust me. Go again. Go again, what about one of these? <laughs> okay, look, top card. In fact, I'll come this side of the table. Okay. Ten of clubs. No? No. Did you hold your hand out, Emily? <laughs> you got it right. <laughs> Congratulations, Place buddy. Place it right here, put your thumb on top. Awesome. Watch close. Are you ready? Turn them over. You're not wow. even with the f with that. No, no way. We're turning it, we're turning it. You're okay. king of clubs, okay? Watch yeah. Clubs, you're okay. Right here, in the center. Push it all the way in. You have to spin the deck 360 degrees and it rises all the way to the top. You turn that card over when you're ready. No, I'm not ready. <laughs> no. 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 Okay, wait, wait, wait. I tell you what, I tell you what. I got a pen on me. Write your name on that card really quick so you know I'm not cheating at all. This is so nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank it's you very much. Yeah, it's good stupid. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> One signed King of Clubs. Perfect. Thank you very much, Emily. Yeah. You got it right again, brother. Well done. In the middle. <laughs> Could you hold your hand out for me? Place this right here. Could you place your other hand on top of mine? Perfect. Emily, do you want to grab a hand on? Oh, Johnny, you're busy eating. Uh, perfect, perfect. So perfect. Watch the power of friendship. <laughs> I'm going to reach inside and grab up one card. Okay, perfect. Not your card. That would have been cool. That would have been yeah. cool. But look, look, look. What if I told you every single card disappears except your card? Whenever you're ready, lift no. your hand up. Lift your hand up. Stop. Whenever no. you're ready. Every. What the no. What the <laughs> No. Are you It's got my name on it! Stop! Maybe you can keep it! I can keep it! 
Well, I got a nice performance for my trick for the day. I don't think I've done that trick for the 365 yet. I have done in other Street Magic videos, but I needed something to do and a live performance is great for it. So, good reactions. Now, drunk people do some weird stuff. I now have a Bible gifted to me. <laughs> what is going on? Well, hello. I kind of just give random updates from George Street. Oh. It's currently about quarter to one. Um, it's, that bench is disgusting. Ooh. Um, it's really quiet. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get like dregs of people like last night. Last night there was a lot of people coming out of the cinemas and stuff. Tonight it seems a bit deader even though it's Saturday. Sidewalk is really weird to do. Sidewalk magic, you just kind of like jam through like tons of routines. Like bam, 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 bam. But I'm not really putting on a show and I can do like one move and full tons of drunk people and it's not that satisfying. <laughs> Right, I'm tired and would prefer to catch a train home tonight and not walk home, so the train leaves in like 10, 20 minutes. I'm gonna go catch it, packing up now. That's me done for the night. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna catch my train or not. Hopefully I do, I gotta pack up really fast. Well, a good way to end my night. I missed my train, ah. I thought it was at 1.38 and it turns out it left at like 1.29, so. I was way too late, and now I'm gonna walk home. Oh well, it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> alright, good night everybody. Thanks for watching guys, see you tomorrow.